Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. Tonight we're going to talk about brakes on the mower deck. I've been getting a lot of questions on how do you adjust them, how tight should they be, how fast should the blade stop. Well, according to the book, and I have a book here, it's off of one of these machines that I have over here for sale. There is a section here somewhere that talks about the blade break. And I just looked at it a minute ago. Oh, and it says here, warning. Once blade is disengaged, it should come to a complete stop within three seconds or less. If the blade continues to rotate after three seconds, the blade should be, the brake should be adjusted. Refer to the blade adjustment section. And then it also says, um, for adjustments proceed to return machine to a authorized dealer to adjust. Do not continue to operate machine if the blade brake is not adjusted properly. So in other words, they want you to take it to a dealer and pay $95 an hour to adjust your brake, which is easy actually quite easy to do. The hardest part on this whole thing is going to be getting this cover off and getting it back on. This one is going to be simple because I don't have the frame here. It's off that machine over there and this cover is split. It's made that way. Let me tip it down a little bit. This is not cracked or broken. This is made like that, so you can get it off easier. Now, if the mower was on the machine, it would be a little bit more difficult. Now, this one I cannot turn by hand until I engage the deck, which releases the brake. Now I can turn this until that slaps back down and that locks the brake and this is acting a little sticky to me this needs to be oiled this is not retracting all the way out I had another comment or question on that issue <laughs> One of my viewers said, my blade, or my blade, my belt is smoking when it's sitting and not cutting. That's because this thing here is not retracting all the way back. There's a spring here that's pulling it, but this one is sticking and it's a little, apparently it's got some dirt up in there can pull it back but it should go back on its own so if you're having problems with your belt smoking that's the issue now to tighten the brake most all these machines are pretty much the same the parts may look different but they all adjust the same you're going to need a 7 16 open end wrench. This is a combination. And you're going to need a 7 16 socket and ratchet to get the bolts off of that cover. The front two are recessed into a pocket. The wrench is not going to help you. The top two are exposed and you could take them off with a wrench. But a socket's going to be a lot faster. Now, to tighten this thing up, let me wiggle you over here. Right here you can see the blue spring. That spring is under tension by this washer and nut 
on this threaded eye bolt. To tighten this, you want to screw that nut on farther. And you want to get it so it's tight enough where you have a lot of resistance trying to turn the blade by hand. Now once you get it tightened up so it's stiff, now comes the scary part. This pulley is going to be on here. I took it off so you could see better. The pulley is going to be on here. The belt's going to be around here. And the easiest way to do it is to get on it, keep your feet off to the side, away from the belt, but on the deck so they're not on the ground. Start your machine and engage your deck at full RPMs as if you were going to cut your grass. Then let go of this. That blade should stop within three seconds. If it doesn't, tighten the nut and the spring and try it again. Now if you feel you got that spring crushed down as far as it'll go, then chances are your brake is worn out. Let me see if I can get you over here and show you. The brake band. This is not a brake shoe. This is the band material around here. This is your brake drum. Now this little distance here and this distance over here where the band does not touch the drum will show you what the thickness of this is when it's brand new. And if you follow that around and it's the same thickness, then your band is okay. But if you get from about this point around to this point and it's very thin or there's no band there left at all, you have to buy a new band. Now you can get parts. I know everybody's up in arms about snappers taking their machines off their websites and off Amazon. They're not discontinuing the machines. I know, I think Amazon actually put on there discontinued. Well, for a better terminology, that's what they used. Uh, Partstree.com has all kinds of parts for snappers and for the stock they have, they'll have them for a long time. So if nothing else, if your dealer can't get you one, which my dealer in Whitehall, it's White Lake Nursery, I just ordered $400 worth of parts and I got everything I needed. Nothing was out of stock. Parts Tree is another one. Your local dealer. If you can't get it from your local dealer, call Parts Tree. If they don't have it, call White Lake Nursery. They had everything I needed. Even bags for my double bagger. I had a couple guys say, oh, how much are them? I need one. They're $42 and... I don't want to lie to you. Bags are $42.25. And you can get as many as you want. I bought four. They have all kinds of them. I also brought, bought the wire frame that goes around the top of the bag that holds it. And the couplers. You got all that stuff in stock. So don't worry about that. Let's just get your brake fixed. And that's really all there is to it. Just tighten that nut and try it a couple times. But be careful because your guard's not going to be on there. Just keep your feet up here where they're supposed to be or up here where the tires are. If you got long pants on, roll your pant legs up. You don't want them caught in the belt. And that's about all there is to it. So, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I really need your help. And uh, 
that's about it. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and get that snapper going. Talk to you soon. So long.